Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks uh, for being here, Mr. Madrid. But before I start, I do want to come back to I'm, I'm, I'm uh, flummoxed by your exchange with Senator Paul. I, I can't understand um, your position on this. Why is it that you think that taxpayers shouldn't be able to have an accounting of how you're spending money? Uh, Senator Hawley, great to see you. Uh, we do believe in accountability and transparency. But that's not my question. My question is, why don't you think they should be able to see how you're spending the money, that it's their money, not your money? And I just don't understand. Why is it you think they shouldn't receive an accounting of how your office is spending the money, of how SBA is spending its money? Well, what's the There must be some philosophical objection here. I just don't understand what it is. You should be able to see everything that we report and through our public reporting. So we do believe in accountability and transparency. Oh, so you do think then that the public should be able to, to see what you spend and what you, what you do. Is that, is that right? I'm um, replying in terms of our footprint at OED and our public reporting on our resource partners. And so, our okay, I got it. So the locus of your disagreement with Senator Paul is you just don't want to answer the questions he asked you. That's, that's the real answer. Senator, right? thank you for your question. I'm here to, you know, I'm here to uh, report on the Office of Entrepreneurial Development, my purview, and so that's what I'll continue to do. Yeah, the reason I think it's so um, irritating, frankly, is because this administration and this is SBA has repeatedly and consistently stonewalled this committee, and in particular, the, in particular, the Republicans on this committee, for going on a solid year now. It's really extraordinary. So to have you come in here and say that you don't think that you ought to have to give an accounting for taxpayer money is really extraordinary. So I just want the record to reflect that, that I completely agree with Senator Paul and Senator Ernst, that your position on this, this administration's position on this, is just really, frankly, unbelievable. And I'm startled that you're taking the positions you are. Let me ask you about uh, some other accountability. For this fiscal year, fiscal year 22, I should say, SBA submitted budget justifications that request funding increases for most of the programs and initiatives that uh, we're here to discuss. I want to know about some of the, the data, however, that's been published about how effective these various programs are. Um, for example, small business development centers, um, according to uh, data collected uh, by the SBA's uh, Office of Entrepreneur Development in their annual studies from 2003 to 2012, only 20% of program participants reported that the services they received enabled them to retain current staff. Only 16% reported that services received enabled them to hire new staff. And only 29% of participants said that the services they received had a positive impact on their profit margin. So let me just ask you, Mr. Matter, does the Office of Entre Entrepreneurial Development continue to conduct annual studies of program participants to assess the impact and effectiveness of these programs? We report on our outcomes and our goals, um, and that is uh, standard per the statute. So we report on the metrics and the, the goals annually, and but, those are but do you do available. studies? But 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 do you do studies to assess the impact of the programs? I and mean, we know that SBA did from 2003 to 2012. My staff hasn't been able to find any reports published. I think past 2012. So I just, this is just a factual question. Do, do you conduct annual studies? of your program participants to assess the impact or, or no? As, uh, Senator, we issue public reports, so we'd be happy to work with your office on the data that we do have and the reporting that we do have. But do you conduct annual studies of program participants? That's my, that's my question. Uh, we report on the data that's aggregated uh, from our resource partners. So that's a yes or that's a no? We can report on the- When was the last time you published an annual study? We can uh, work with your office to give you our reporting that we have on our... Well, when was the last time you published an annual... I'm just trying... This is, these are not gotcha questions. I'm just trying to establish some basic questions, some basic facts, so I can ask you some questions about them. So either you're not prepared or you're not here to answer my questions, which goes back to what we talked about earlier. So let's try again. When was the last time you published an annual report? You can read the memo your staff keeps giving. Maybe we should have the staffer come testify. He seems to be the one who's giving you the answers. We could probably make room at the table. If somebody's willing to answer questions, I'd love to hear from them. Go ahead. Senator, thank you for your question. We report publicly, annually, on the metrics that are per the statute, and we'd be happy to work with your office to supply them, the most recent ones. Okay, so those are, you survey the participants of the program annually? This is the data that we receive uh, through our 
uh, resource partners like Capital Infusion, unique clients served, et cetera. We'd be happy to work with you. Well, have the performance that. metrics that you've seen, have they improved since the publication of the 2013 report? I'm sorry? Have the performance metrics that you've seen, you say that you collect performance metrics. Have yes, they have. There's, uh, there's some of the metrics that have improved, and I would be happy to supply them. Give me, we'll give them to me. I mean, what, what so tw in 2012, only 20% of program participants said that the services they received helped them retain current staff. So what's the number now? Um, I can give you what we do have in terms of the capital infusion, and I'd be happy to work with your office. Okay. Um, I wish I could say this was productive, but um, it's manifestly not. And I don't know what to say, Mr. Chairman, um, other than that we'll give you a bunch of questions for the record. But if, these, if we're going to have these hearings and be able to do any kind of oversight, you're going to have to prepare, and you're going to have to come prepared to answer questions. And what this performance today, frankly, is just ridiculous. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me just um, reinforce a, a couple comments that have been made. Uh, first, every member of this committee is entitled to as much information as we can get for oversight. We do believe in transparency. 